Okay, in this video, we're going we gonna to talk about a little something about how Dr. Phil fell the hell off. Because the fact that that people actually believe that this guy is actually authentic amazes me. And he and the fact that he's to be taken, you know, seriously, and in some cases, it's absolutely, absolutely mind-boggling. So, guys, I came across this video about Dr. Phil and how he feels about male victims, right? So, if you guys do not realize, do not know is that there are some victims out there who have who happen to be male, but because they're men, their stories are not taken seriously, and people should say, "Oh, they they might they're just soft, they're just weak, they're pathetic," you know. They, they they should learn how they should defend themselves more but the fact but when they do defend themselves they get called women beaters they get called abusers they can call you know this this and that they, they get called you know monsters hate you know haters they hate women and all that stuff but guys i'm gonna show y'all a video about something from the dr phil show i want to show y'all this and then i'm gonna I'm go ahead and give it a little co a little commentary throughout the whole deal let's go and take a look this is the problem with with with, with uh, being being a, a male victim of abuse, especially if the abuser is a woman. Your problems are not taken seriously, and if you do express your problems, people say, "Oh, then you're just weak." People say, "You know, you should step up." You know, people say, "You know, if you, if you was more of a man, this wouldn't happen." It's a thing. Do you not? Do you know how easy it is to be to be a woman in today's age, where you could just constantly hit men and nothing would really happen? Or if a man hit, if a man would, would hit, a, would hit a woman, there would be a full blown freaking, you know, civil war between sexes. But if 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 a, if if a woman was beating on a man, you know, it's considered a. Hey, Maybe maybe it, it, it was a man's fault. Maybe maybe he maybe he did something. Maybe he was the one who orchestrated it. But no 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 no, it can't, it can't be none of that. It's it's always a man's fault if if, if the if the if the woman is violent. So let's go ahead and hear what this guy says. The, yeah, the guy to write about what about apparently what his girlfriend, his wife, or wh whoever the hell she is was at the time because this because I think this video was like like uh, one year ago. Let's go ahead and hear what he has to go to with with with, th with this freaking chick. Let's go, and then we'll just hear Dr. Phil's response. These are Michael's allegations. He says that she attacked with football moves and tackles and punched, <laughs> kicked in the face. Yeah, you see how when he, when the man is, is, is the abused, people just laugh. But if this is the other way around, there'll be torches and picks for us. Had a chair that was swung at him from across the room. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like for real. Look at look at all these things that apparently that she allegedly did to him. Attack with a football, the fact attack with football moves and tackles and punts, kick and kicked him in the face. Had a chair swung at him, mouth cut open, bloody nose and scratches on face, neck and chest. And when people hurt, when people was hearing this, they cheered. Imagine if this is the other way around. Just imagine, guys. Him from across the room. Uh, his mouth was cut up, bloody nose and scratches on his face, neck, and chest. So you say she has come at you, she has attacked you, and that oftentimes you have done what you have done purely in defense. Yes, that incident, definitely. I don't care what she does. I if she starts away. punching oh, you, mm -hmm. then you turn around and walk away. If she Hey, bro, that that working away bullshit does not work because there will pe still be people who will continue to just swing and swing and swing when they know that you can't do anything, especially when it comes to a female like like this, like that freaking red, like that freaking redhead who pro who probably knows that if that if you attack if you attack her, she will claim victim and have and have a damn cop on your on your freaking neck neck back whatever it is they will be there quick if it's a woman but if a man pff, yeah give me a break if she starts chasing in then you outrun her 
If you have to, you get behind the door. But you don't ever, never, ever put your hands on a woman in anger, ever. You see, now, again, you see how biased Dr. Phil is? He said he did it out of anger. When it's clearly stated that he was doing it out of self-defense, not out of anger. How how do you take self-defense as anger? And this is and this is this is my this is a lot of people's problem with Dr. Dr. Phil. I'm not, I'm not I'm not the only one. There's also a whole bunch of other YouTubers on here as well. Where if you're defending yourself against a woman, it's it's oh he's expressing his toxic masculinity. Like so, are you are we just, are we just supposed to let a woman just freaking? You know, hit us because you know apparently to you, hey, they, and this is this is the stereotype. This is the stereotype you guys keep on pushing. Women are all weak and inferior. You think you really, do, like? Do you really believe that a woman can't can't hurt a man? Like, how stupid do, do you have to be? And somehow or another, you think that's funny? Somehow, tell me what's funny about that. You just. I, I swear, man. One of these days, if I do become a, get on Dr. Phil's show, I would I would just go right to his face and say, "Hey, man, why are you so, so why are you so damn biased about this? Is your is your wife setting you up on this?" Don't put your hands on a woman in anger. And it again, he said it was under self defense. That, again, this is why people should not be taking Dr. Phil seriously because this guy is not actually listening to the problems. Anybody that does is a chicken <laughs> coward. <laughs> Again, the biasness, the audacity. Again, you again. So you just you just supposed to supposed to let a woman just hit you, even when you you, you probably just sit just sitting down. She comes she comes around just you know just starts winging out of nowhere. Probably grabs a knife, threatening to kill you. Yeah 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 you should, yeah yeah you you should just let that happen. Yeah just let it happen. You know just let it happen. No, you're not done. No, let me tell you. I'm done. Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you want to be done, if you want to walk out of here, then you can walk straight into the LAPD, my friend. Because. And then, and then he proceeds to threaten him to say, if you leave, I'm going to have you arrested. He's using his power. He's using his influence to get to have this man arrested. That is some great a cowardly bullshit. And let me tell you something. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, last night, because last night in our hotel, as our guest, you decided to trash a hotel room. And in that hotel room, you created vandalism of personal Joe. property. And let me tell you what that amounts to, okay? So you want to get all self-righteous with me, buddy boy. How does he get, how does he get all self-righteous when well, he said he's you done? You smashed the thermostat, you smashed the glasses, you tore up the lamp, and every person who maliciously commits any of the following acts with respect to any real or personal property, not his or her own, in cases other than those specified by state law, is guilty of vandalism, and that person faces up to a year in prison and a ten thousand dollar fine. So, you guys, I I really don't believe he he, he actually did that. I, I'm pretty sure Dr. Phil just had that orchestrated because he because he needed to get to get some type of you know some type of you know guilt you know some type, some type of thing to get on on the on the man because you know he's a man and anything the woman does. Anything the woman did, it doesn't matter because she's a woman. She has a she has a, she has a vagina, so she has that privilege to just smack around smack around her her boyfriend at the time. Guys, this is this this is my main problem with the field, okay? But you know, let's 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 keep going. You are here by my grace, my friend. So you're basically blackmailing him. That's what you're doing. And and listen, just listen, just peep. People are are just you know clapping about it, They're saying yeah, Dr. Phil, you get you get that victim. So you can talk to me or you can talk to the LAPD backstage. Your choice. If you think a man putting his hands on a woman in anger is cowardly, stand up. Yeah. Got again, guys. He he did not did not do this out, out of anger. He did it out, out, out of self defense. 
Okay, yeah, this this is my problem. This this is my problem with these freaking these freaking talk show hosts when it, when it, when, it, when it comes to Steve Harvey, Dr. Phil. They say so much BS about male vi- about you know male victims who are victims of feet of women and say like yo your problems don't matter but you putting your but you putting your hands on this on this person in self defense oh yeah you should, be, you should you should be sent to jail throw, throw away the key but if it's a woman who's the abuser if it's a woman who's out here orchestrating violence on 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 her boyfriend her husband you know got you know got you know guy friend that this is probably mad it doesn't matter what it is that that man should just should just shut up and take it because he's a man and this is why a lot of male victims do not speak up against violence because nobody t- takes it seriously and the fact that you have a a someone who has a platform like, like dr phil and first of all from what i i've read some 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 uh news that doc, that dr phil has not renewed his his uh his license so he's not actually he, he's not an actual doctor he hasn't been in, in the past 15 years so his name so he, he he should just just be phil okay at this point but the fact that you have male victims coming out and say like yeah and, and people just laughing and stuff, stuff like that again you you had that freaking story that freaking story about that about this husband who who wanted to to, to divorce his wife and her first response is to what no it was to cut off it cut off his dick and then stick it in, in a garbage disposal there was some there was some, some females doing a talk show who heard the story did anybody feel you know any type of sympathy Sym- sympathy no they laughed and then they blame the man for saying hey man why 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 why, why did you want to divorce this chick in the first place no 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 they they, they was pointing their fingers at the at the guy they was pointing their fingers at the guy and not and not the crazy ass not the crazy ass woman who who was who was obviously homicidal again guys you 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 have stuff stuff like this and there's a reason why a lot why a lot of men if they are if they are victims nobody take takes them seriously no nobody gets a crap about them but you know man this is one of the main reasons why dr phil has lost so much credibility because he deliberately deliberately trashes male victims of abuse again guys if you're a a man there's all these programs for women but if it's a guy that's that, that's been abused nobody get nobody gives a shit. and this this is the pop this is the problem that, of, of the of the the modern era right now that we live in but guys y'all let me know what, what y'all think about the comments below if you guys like what i'm saying like and subscribe share this video hit the notification bell i will see you on the next one peace